Welcome everyone to my Garden Channel's YouTube page. In today's video we will cover the ultimate guide to seed germination and growing conditions for plants. So, whether you're starting a vegetable garden, nurturing flowers, or cultivating herbs, understanding seed germination and the right growing conditions is crucial for success. Today, we're going to dive into everything you need to know to give your seeds the best start. From what triggers germination to the perfect soil, water, and light conditions, this guide has you covered. Let's get growing. Seed germination is the process by which a seed breaks dormancy and begins to sprout into a new plant. It's a critical phase in a plant's life cycle, and a lot of interesting things happen during this stage. Essentially, when the right conditions are met, such as moisture, warmth, and oxygen, a seed begins to absorb water, and the embryo inside starts to grow. This process begins with imbibition, where the seed takes in water and swells. Then, the seed coat cracks open, allowing the radical, the first root, to emerge, followed by the plumule, which will grow into the plant's first leaves. But for all of this to happen, the right environment is key. Let's dive into the specific conditions that promote successful germination. The first crucial factor is water. Seeds need moisture to activate enzymes that break down stored food inside the seed, giving energy to the growing plant. But be careful, overwatering can lead to rot, so it's important to strike a balance. You want the soil to be consistently damp, but not soggy. The second factor is temperature. Most seeds have an ideal temperature range for germination, usually between 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 to 24 degrees Celsius. Some seeds, like lettuce, prefer cooler temperatures, while others, like tomatoes and peppers, need warmth to germinate. You can use a seed starting heat mat to maintain a steady temperature, especially for heat-loving plants. Lastly, oxygen is essential for cellular respiration in the seed. Seeds require good air circulation, so make sure your soil is well aerated and not too compact. Using a light, well-draining seed starting mix will help provide the necessary oxygen for germination. Light plays a different role in germination compared to later stages of growth. While some seeds, like lettuce and basil, need light to germinate, others like beans and squash can sprout in darkness. But once your seedlings break the surface, they will need plenty of light to grow strong and healthy. A common mistake is not providing enough light once seeds germinate, which leads to leggy seedlings, tall, weak plants stretching toward the light. Ideally, seedlings need 12 to 16 hours of bright light per day. If you don't have enough natural sunlight, Consider using grow lights placed just a few inches above the seedlings to ensure they get what they need. Keep adjusting the height of the lights as the seedlings grow. Using the right growing medium is essential for seed germination. Seeds have enough nutrients stored in them to get started, so you don't need nutrient-rich potting soil at this stage. Instead, use a light, sterile seed starting mix that is well-draining and free of large particles that could hinder seed growth. Avoid using regular garden soil, as it can be too dense, poorly aerated, and may contain pathogens or pests that could harm young seedlings. If you're starting seeds indoors, seed starting trays or small pots filled with a soilless mix work best. These mixes often contain peat moss, coconut core, and vermiculite, which help retain moisture while allowing for good air circulation. Sowing seeds properly is a simple yet vital step. First. Follow the instructions on the seed packet for the recommended depth. As a rule of thumb, seeds should generally be planted at a depth twice their size. Small seeds need just a light dusting of soil, while larger seeds can be planted deeper. Once the seeds are sown, gently press down the soil to ensure good contact with the seeds, but don't pack it too tightly. After sowing, mist the surface with water to moisten the soil, and cover your trays with a clear plastic dome or plastic wrap to help retain moisture until the seeds sprout. Keep them in a warm spot until you see the first signs of life. Once your seedlings have developed two sets of true leaves, they're ready for transplanting. This stage is critical because overcrowded seedlings can become weak, and the roots need more room to spread out. When transplanting, be gentle with the roots, as they're delicate at this stage. If you're moving them outdoors, it's important to harden off the seedlings first. 
This involves gradually exposing them to outdoor conditions over the course of a week, starting with a few hours in a sheltered area and increasing their time outside each day. This will prevent transplant shock and help your plants adjust to their new environment. Sometimes, things don't go as planned, and seeds fail to germinate or grow as expected. One common issue is damping off, a fungal disease that affects seedlings, causing them to collapse. To prevent this, make sure your seed starting mix is sterile, avoid overwatering, and provide good air circulation. If your seeds aren't germinating at all, it could be due to improper temperatures, too much or too little water, or old seeds. Always check the expiration date on your seed packets and store them in a cool, dry place. If the soil is too dry, the seeds won't sprout, but if it's too wet, they might rot. Balance is key, and there you have it. With the right balance of water, warm, light, and care, you can successfully germinate seeds and grow strong, healthy plants. Remember, patience is key, and even experienced gardeners face challenges. Don't get discouraged if some seeds take longer than others, it's all part of the process. Start small, experiment with different plants, and most importantly, enjoy the journey of nurturing life from seed to full-grown plant. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more plant tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and happy planting!